Taurus, Earth Sign, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another tarot card message for you today. We are gathered here for some channel messages under the magic hour. Okay, we have jumpers, the hangman, could be dealing with the Pisces. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Mmm, I'm getting channel messages. All right. Messages for the earth sign spirit. What messages do you have for Taurus today? What energies are currently surrounding Taurus? What's coming towards Taurus? You have a bunch of grounded birds right in front of me here. Now, these would be grackles. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's like they're spectating here. What do we have? A funeral? We have the Aries in the Fool card. So, some sort of a new adventure. Uh, this could possibly be suicide. Someone taking a leap of faith here. Hmm. Or taking action towards their dreams, possibly even. With the hangman here, Pisces. Someone had very, uh, very vivid imagination or very vivid dreams. This could be some sort of a hold up or a hang up as well. Lovers, nothing but major arcana coming up here. So we have a relationship as well. Gemini, the lovers. Could be mass communication or trying to communicate your ideas. This could be a party as well. Yeah, eight of wands. A party, some sort of a sex passion or creativity coming towards you. Maybe a grand production. A lot of travel coming towards you. Yeah, someone's coming towards you with a relationship offer. They're wanting to make some sort of a connection here with you. Most likely romance, but this could be a uh, business partnership as well. Again, someone trying to communicate their ideas. Or am I getting like um, some sort of an entertainment, like some sort of a Netflix show? Like a You or something like that. Okay, now here we, here we have these badass kids coming to make all this noise here. So we got Three of Cups. <laughs> okay. More partaking energy here. Two of Cups and Three of Cups. Relationships. Sex coming towards you here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. <coughs> okay. Yeah, some sort of a... Someone's definitely in my energy at this time. You can barely breathe around this mug. Let's see what else they got. Three of Swords. Hmm. Third party. Mm, hangman though right on top of the hangman the sun card on top of the lovers dealing with a leo as well so so far we have pisces gemini and we have leo coming up here so this could be some sort of an idea that someone's trying to express maybe communicating some sort of a creativity mm, what else do we have nine of wands on top of the eight of wands travel Sex passion is coming towards you here. Yeah, someone's yeah, someone's infatuated with you. They're obsessed with you here. They could even feel like you are their property. With this three of wands, they already feel like they're not getting enough attention here. Yeah, they're looking at you as their son or their wish fulfillment or some sort of a gift. Six of wands. Possibly attempting to travel towards you or they could be coming out of some sort of a mental toxicity. Yeah. Some, some three of cups type of situation. Some sort of an open relationship. The strength card. Now isn't that something, right? People want what they want and they won't accept anything less when they have all the options in the world opened up to them. A woman with all the looks in the world. A man with all the money. But let 20 years go by and then this woman finds herself in her 40s and 50 or this man finds himself with not enough monies. Now, all of a sudden, they want to open up their options. Now, they're willing to take things from people that they weren't willing to take uh, from people when they were younger or when they were so abundant. My, my, how the world uh, opens up. I would never share with a man, but then you can't find a man in your mid-40s, so you're willing to share a man with another woman. Beauty and the Beast here. Yep, right on top of the Two of Cups. Having to show strength, having to show, uh, having to keep your composure, wanting to release the Beast, but having to safe face here yeah that's what i have here for this reading major arcanas we have five of them leo coming out strong and heavy here wanting to be the center of attention mm -hmm. gemini and pisces here definitely could be some sort of a love relationship um yeah someone's wanting to come towards you here 
lot of travel. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. They could be a wounded warrior here. Possibly not getting attention from the person that they're not getting attention from. So we have just people just out here willy-nilly in different, uh, like... And that's another thing they would say. Uh, they would try to make an excuse. A person in a relationship wouldn't want to mess with anyone outside of a relationship. They'd rather do it with somebody that's in a relationship. A person that's married would want to cheat with somebody else that's already married because they feel like they had that person has something to lose or just as much as to lose as them. No, you shouldn't even be doing this in the first place. If there's not a clear understanding, why are you trying to make excuses and concessions? Why you want to do this and that? I mean, yeah. 666 six, six here, six of swords, nine of wands, and then six lovers. Definitely some sort of a relationship, some sort of a toxicity here. Mm -hmm. Three and cups of two of, and two of cups with the three of swords. Yeah, some sort of a fraternization or some sort of a cheating or third party. This could be cuckoldry as well, maybe swinging. But that's what I have for you here today, Taurus. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. I hope someone isn't trying to try an empress like that. Peace.